So I was fascinated by this Reddit post, a list of former modern MTG archetypes. Hi all, I'm putting together a list of archetypes that for one reason or another are not around anymore, with the intention of creating a publicly available, mostly exhaustive spreadsheet covering their creation, dissolution, current viability, and successors. I found this, um, well, l we'll go through the list, but I mean, there's a lot, there are a lot of these decks are just straight dead. That is true. I mean, many archetypes that, you know, I even forgot about. Uh, but then there's some that are still lingering around, and also some that have evolved. Let's go. Okay, so let's start with 8-Rack. I don't know if that one's actually dead. I thought that one just made like, yeah, J Blue is like false. I still play 8-Rack. And it got like a top 8 in a modern challenge, like, I don't know, just a few months ago. So, very niche archetype, but, um... There's a lot of you 8-rack players. I should make an 8-rack video. I bet it would get like 10,000 views because there's got to be like 10,000 8-rack players out there. So number one 8-rack. I don't think that's a dead deck. I think it's a very niche deck. Super niche, but still pretty alive. Abs and mid-range. Co-Diamonds might have something to say about this. Like, he's still on the Abs and Stoneforge Mystic plan. I mean, I mean, there's other plans to go about. Uh, but that one, depending on like your definition of abs and mid range, like maybe abs and stone blade doesn't count. Maybe, I don't know. But like in terms of like siege rhino, yeah, that's pretty much gone. But I'll have to admit, outside of like co diamonds, I don't really see this archetype like whatsoever. This list might be not top of meta anymore and not necessarily that. That might be a better title, Tommy. That might be a way better title because we're going to argue with a ton of these. Affinity, traditional. So my problem with stuff like, so they say affinity, but traditional. Like, what is that supposed to mean? Like, if we aren't playing with cranial plating and memnite and steel overseer that the deck is dead? Because last I saw, there is an affinity deck. Where is our affinity deck? We might have to dig low. We're going to have to dig deep for this affinity deck. There, no, is the, no, this is, is this affinity or hammer time? This is more has somewhere, this is, I wouldn't call this affinity to be honest. How about this one? This is a blue one. There we, there we go. That's affinity. Now, surely it is not the affinity that we know uh, of seasons past with the Steel Overseer and the Arcbound Ravager and crap like that, but it evolved. Like, are we not allowed to evolve decks? So if a deck, if I upgrade my deck with two new cards, is the old deck now dead? So I think affinity is still around. I think this traditional nonsense is not, not necessary. Agro Loam, that's dead. I don't remember. I don't even barely remember this even being like a deck. Is this like, what is aggro loam? That's is that loam lion? <laughs> Affinity traditional means I don't know what I'm talking about. I like, but I like clicks. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be the Ravager Affinity. I don't know what they mean by like aggro loam. I, I, I'm assuming like some sort of loam line or landfall aggro. Aggro loam could be playable with uh, Ren and Six. Oh, is it really with life? There was an aggro deck with life from the loam. I mean, this may be before my time. I don't even remember this deck. I don't know what an aggro loam deck is. Ascension Storm. Yeah, because the version sucked. So we got, uh... As is it was Ascension or Ascendancy? Pyromancer Ascension. So this was the original Storm Wind condition. Like, before they found the Gifts package, which ended up just being better. So this is how they played G Storm prior to, uh... Gitaxian Probe getting banned. And Gitaxian Probe was a fantastic card to help, uh, get this this get this card online then all of a sudden you are making tons of copies of whatever you're playing and then you storm off 
But then they found Gift Storm with, but they then they found what Gift Storm, and Gift Storm was just better a better deck. So I would say Storm is still around, and I I don't I don't know why when you evolve a deck the old one is dead. Doesn't seem fair. Oh, was it the Seismic Assault Life from the Loam? Okay, yeah, I guess that's dead. But I always thought that was jank. I th always thought that was jank. I thought this deck was absolute pure janky jank. Triple red, discard a card, Seismic Assault deals two damage to any target. What is, like, the deck today that is very similar to this? I don't know, it was like, it was just a bad combo deck. It never won, it was never good, but some people just played it because it existed. I certify this Reddit post as clear bill, bill shoot, bill shot. Uh, Assault Loam. Okay, hold on, no, that's a different deck. Okay, now we've, okay, so Aggro Loam and Assault Loam, those are two different ones. Maybe Aggro Loam is more an, an aggressive version of, of Assault Loam. Okay, Birthing Pod. Yes, that one's dead. It died. It died because that, its card got banned. Blue Moon! It very rarely pops up. Um, you could say that this deck is just like really niche now. It's, uh... Yeah, Blue Moon has not been around for a while. Or like when it's around, it's like those Kiki Exarch builds. Oh no, that's not true. They're a completely different deck because they're playing with a wacky mana base. Albert asks, have you been clearing deck lists weekly or monthly? I'm doing it monthly now, so uh, you, you're good till the end of the month. I believe what you were saying is treasure hunt with zombie infestation, which is known as zombie hunt. Aha! That sounds like... Uh, yeah, that sounds like the new Assault Loam deck of today, even though no one plays that thing anymore. Spencer Ward says, Can't remember if I saw it modern play competitively, but for a while my local game store had several players running a modern running with scissors deck look like a draft deck. Sounds Well, it sounds like they upgraded their Pioneer deck. Okay, so Blue Moon, I would say this is not a dead deck. But it's like so rare these days, pretty rare. Blue Steel, that's pretty dead. Yeah, I know, uh, I can't remember what's the key cards to this deck, but that one's stone dead. Maybe some people in a local game store play it, but that's about it. All right, Boggles. This is the type of, like, Boggles is the type of deck. What, what do we need, uh, Slippery. The old Slippery B. Bogles is the type of deck that is like almost always poorly positioned and you ha and it's only coming to light. It only becomes part of the metagame when it's well positioned. Outside of that, uh, this deck is always in a it's dead, 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 pl very playable, then goes back to dead, 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 dead. Blue Steel is meta in Penny Dreadful. Well, we're talking modern here. But at least it has a home for those people that absolutely love that thing. Blue Moon is niche in a format with four color BS decks. Seems like some bands are needed to me. Yeah, Blood Moon is just not good enough, weirdly enough. Hey Chris, welcome back. Uh, you should try to fix the Super Chat member ticket. You ca still can't see those chat messages, can you? I guess they are still dead too. Okay, I'm done. What? There's... Uh, I don't know what the problem is with the super chats. Try, you should try to fix the super chat member. Oh, is it like, you still can't see those chat messages, can you? Oh, you mean the, uh, the super, like, not super thanks, but like, the super stickers. I can't see super stickers. That's what I can't see. What is blue steel? I, I don't even want to explain it. But it, there, it was like, it's an artifact deck that plays a blue card. What's the key blue card? I don't even want to look it up. I don't even want to look it up. Google it. Just Google it. Bridgevine. Yeah, well, the cards are banned. Uh, what's it called? Uh, bridge from below. Yeah, well, this card is banned, so of course it's going, it's, 
of, co of course we don't see that anymore. Burn Zoo, which was like not even the default deck. Anyway, oops. I don't even know what a Nakadal is. But anyway, Wild Nakadal was like a variation of Burn at one time. You could play Naya Burn. And getting that extra one drop that's a three basically a three drop on turn one was a big deal in that deck yeah we don't see that anymore and no it, I, and honestly no one's even making variations of burn anymore it's just basically boros burn nothing else no one even wants to try mono red burn zoo isn't dead Cavu brought it back well we're just talking about burn we're talking burn here So black white tokens. That deck was never a deck as far as I'm concerned. I don't even know why people thought that that was ever an archetype. And then Wizards of the Coast made like a one of those pre-constructed decks with black white tokens. I thought that was very silly. Like I and then and then it showed some prominence there too. Anyway, that's weird. Cheerios, that deck is dead because well, I mean, Second Sunrise is banned. Now, to be fair, I think they have replacement cards for Second Sunrise, but they're just a, just a little too expensive. The fact that they're like four or five mana makes a really big deal. Big, big deal. Collected Company. What modern archetype is that? Is that even a modern archetype? That doesn't make any sense to me. Is, is the card, is just the card dead? Does it see no play anymore? Yeah, Crabvine isn't dead, but I would say Crabvine is very different from Bridgevine. That's a totally different archetype where they're doing the self-milling stuff with blue. I would, I would consider that a completely different deck. Or different enough, anyhow. Um, anyway, so uh, interpretations are open to anybody on Collected Company as an archetype. Copycat. Well, I don't know if we can, like, shut the door on Copycat, because we right now we're... The cop, Copycat is almost coming back. It's just not with Saheeli Rai. It's with that new Vivian. Uh, which Vivian? Oh, so many... Vi Vivian's on the hunt. Like, there's some of these decks are, like, decks that have been around... Maybe were around for a little while, then left, then went around for a little while, and then maybe they're coming back. But, like, the Saheeli Rai... I don't know if the Saheeli Rai version's ever going to come back. But this Vivian on the Hunt version, very likely, very likely going to be around. I just made a Coco deck. Hopefully no one is ready for it tonight at my local game store. <laughs> yeah, most of these decks have banned cards, so obviously they're dead. <laughs> well, I don't know. My, only half of them. Uh, Crabvine. I don't think so. I think Crabvine is still sort of around. It's like it's just very, very low prominence. Very low prominence. Dead Guy Ale. I don't even know exactly what this deck is, but I'm assuming it's dead. I know this is like a legacy deck. Death and Tax is traditional. Okay, so this is another one of those situations where the traditional version of the deck, I don't know, with maybe with Blade Splicer or something in it, is dead. Good old version, Blade Splicer, Ghost Quarter. Coco was neither the Reliquary, Voice of Resurgence, Quartz or Crufix, basically green, white, good stuff. Gavany Township 2. Then call it green, white, good stuff. Death Cloud. That's a dead deck. I, but that was always a niche deck anyway. It was like a Golgari deck that tried to win with Death Cloud. I don't even, I wouldn't even consider that as a deck that even existed. Wouldn't even consider it. Feels like treasures are the new astrolabe. Mana fixing for three or more colors where Blood Moon won't keep them in control. Hey, that could be a point. Those Raghavans getting out of control there. My draft deck from last month is dead in the format too. Why isn't that in the post? Exactly. The so Dead Guy Ale is a black-white value creatures and disruption. Okay, so it's like black-white death and taxes, right? More or less. 
that's cloud with cabal coffers uh cabal coffers definitely didn't exist back then cabal coffers is a new card to the format delver that is that is dead technically but i would i would argue that delver became death shadow or blue red murktide like when when they were making Delver, well, sorry, when they were experimenting with Death Shadow decks, I mean, they tried to play Delver in it, and they just realized, well, Devil, Delver was the crappiest card, so they got rid of it. And then same thing happened in Murktide. I remember when they tried to bring Delver back, and I, I strongly said, like, this is not going to stand the test of time. I should bring those videos out. I'm wrong, you know, here and there, but I'm right more often than I'm wrong. Okay, it's not deck list review time. I'm going to choose a different different music. I know cuz I really wanted that uh un Undertale's music for to start the start the show. But yeah, uh Delver just is a crappier weaker card, but like decks that Delver would be played in like Blue Red Murktide, they do exist. So it's a bit bit of a weird thing. I feel like the shell is still around. It's just Delver itself is not around. You could put Delver in those decks. You just make them weaker, though. That's the problem. Do you think Ledger Shredder is kind of the new Delver? Uh, remind me after we're done with this post, because we still have. Oh my God, we have. Okay, we gotta speed run this. This is stupid. Devotion never was a modern archetype. Doesn't exist. Eggs. That second sunrise. You just you just put this in again. Or sorry, it was Cheerios. That's the same. Oh no, Cheerios is a different deck. I'm sorry. Hey, I was thinking about eggs, so I made a mistake. There is Cheerios. Uh, that barely exists. But yeah, you could say that's a dead deck. That was a niche BS nonsense deck. Enchantress never really got off the ground. There's like a lot of decks in here that are like not were never established archetypes. They just existed for maybe a week, and now it's on this list. Enduring Ideal, like that's exactly one of them. That was never an arc, never really an archetype in modern. Yeah, Cheerios is with SRAM. I screwed that up. That was the SRAM deck. And it sees a lot less play today, especially since Mox Opal got banned, and that was one of the key cards in their deck. But I believe it still exists in some capacity, because you can still play Mox Amber with uh, SRAM. Still play the Amber. Would argue Enchantress is a deck nowadays. I, you don't really see it though. It was like a really big deck when it first came out uh, in modern, like in Modern Horizons 2, but uh, completely died after that. Chemical Death. What do you think is the most consistent modern combo deck? Neoform, Planebound Rituals, Calibrated Blast, Glimpse, Tamishi Bloon. Probably Calibrated Blast. It's probably the most consistent modern deck. It's just that it has no resistance against anything. All right, what do we got here? Uh, Eldrazi, Bant, Eldrazi, Stompy, Eldrazi, Taxes. Like, okay, sure. But Eldrazi Tron is still, like, an archetype kicking around. I think these were all just evolutions of Eldrazi until we found the best build. Elves. The elf community is probably not happy to hear that. Lumberjack's probably not ha happy to hear that. Lumberjack in the house? Well, elves are, are dead in spirit. I don't know what where what is the uh, are there any elf listings at all? Is elves even on here? If elves shows up in any capacity, then we're gonna consider it not dead, not dead. In fact, oh there we go. Ooh, it's doing better than merfolk. Well, if we can say merfolk is a deck, then we gotta say elves is a deck. There it is. By Rock Doc. Elves to the max. Ooh, I love that Elvish champion. And that Yavamaya Cradle of Growth. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. <laughs> Elves are very easy to answer today with Fire and Ice, so you gotta get that value. Need that value. Emiria Control. I don't even know what that is. Like, why is that even on here? Eternal Command! That was a real deck. That honestly was a real deck. Okay, th that was a real established archetype by um, Shota Yasuoka. It did see play for a good chunk of the earlier portion of the modern format back in the Splinter Twin birthing pod days, uh, but it's gone. 
I have to admit that that deck is completely wiped off the face of the earth. Maybe look, you know, um, Aspiring Spike actually made a good run of trying to make something similar to this, you know, with Eternal Witness, but with time warps and blinking your, and with Ephemerate, you blink the Eternal Witness. I think that was the closest you could get to resurrecting this archetype. What is Eternal Command actually? It is combining Eternal Witness with Cryptic Command. And the idea is after, so what you do is you bounce your Eternal Witness and tap your opponent's creatures down, and then you play Eternal Witness on your next turn, and you get, or you keep playing Eternal Witness, get Cryptic Command back, play Cryptic Command, bounce Eternal Witness, and tap your opponent's team so you never get to attack. It's like a really, really hard way to fog. But it was good, it worked at the time. It was a very value-oriented deck back in the day. Fairies. Well, I've been saying this deck has been dead for a very long time. And that, like, I, I honestly want to say, like, Fairies hasn't been around for a very, very... Which was close. Get a little closer here. Fairies has not been around for a very long time. And the, the, the closest thing that we've had were blue-black control decks that took on the Fairies name for no reason whatsoever. They, they had, like, Spell Starter Sprite and some Bitter Blossoms. It's a Fairies deck! <laughs> Those could have been replaced by anything. Murktide Regent, for example. I wonder if there is triv tri tribal tournament for tribal decks. I would love it. Who is the best tribal deck? I would not be surprised if, like, goblins just won. They have good interaction and they have a good combo. Uh, okay, Field of the Dead Ramp. What the hell is that? Field of the Dead Ramp. Oh, you mean like... But that's... Those are just like amulet decks with Field of the Dead in it. That's not even an archetype. That never was an archetype. It was just, it was just like Scape Shift and Amulet Titan, but they had Field of the, the Dead in the deck. Anyway, that's weird. Gifts Ungiven. Yeah, that's dead. I'll admit that's that was a some it was a very niche deck, but like it was around and now it's just gone. Grishulbrand, the Gorios Vengeance version, that is gone. I would I would say that that is gone too. That was dead mostly because they lost Faithless Looting. And that was too big of a beating for that archetype. So they can't go Faithless Looting, you know, put a big fatty in the graveyard, Gorios next turn. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Hogak isn't dead, it's banned. I know, but that, well, I mean, they're just saying, you know, for whatever reason, the deck is gone. Grixis Control, is that even true? Is Grixis Control, like, outright gone? I know there's some Demir Control decks. Like, Grixis is the type of thing, it, like, comes and goes as it's, like, relevant in the metagame. But, you know, it could be true. Maybe there's no Grixis right now. None whatsoever. Grixis, Grixis, we're looking for you, Grixis. Yeah, maybe there's no Grixis. Yeah, it's basically no Grixis, okay. But that one can come back pending like meta shift, new cards printed. Hate bears, yeah, that's gone. It's, it's a goner. <laughs> Bring Got it. Bring back Gri Got to bring back Grixis Control. My second favorite color combo for Control. It's also the most vulnerable. You like you barely gain any life. Grixis Control is mega dead. <laughs> Everyone knows I love Elves decks, but it's very hard to win in this meta. It is, isn't it? We all have problems. And I'm telling you, you got play Elves Stompy. Play Elves Stompy. Grixis Death Shout is basically that. Yeah, but like, uh, I mean. That's just like a, it's like more of a mid-range deck slash tempo deck. So it's, it just plays very differently. Okay, Heliod, not dead at all. Like, where is this? It's still kicking relatively, like it's not gone. And it's still putting up results too. Oh man, I might, do I really have to go so far to find a Heliod? 
So that was the end of life gain. Ugh. Okay, it's pretty low. It's pretty low on the list, but it still puts up results. Look, 5, 7, there was a 16th place list. It's very unpopular right now. Very, 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 very unpopular, but it's still, like, it's still really around. It's in that, it's in that, it's in that, like, tier 3 position, or tier, low tier 2, where it's on the verge of collapse, but it's still hanging on. So you can't call this even, I'm not even going to call this a retired deck. Yeah, Death Shot is more tempo than control. Okay, Hogak. Well, that card is just banned. Hollow One. Again, they lost the Faithless Looting. That's a deck that actually got hurt very badly by Faithless Looting. Maybe it could come back, but like, it's probably much harder to build that deck. Humans. Yeah, I think Humans is gone, isn't it? Is Humans more gone than Merfolk? We have Merfolk here. Humans. I'm looking for some humans. Man, how the times have changed. Humans just fallen off. The Is it, there isn't even Plague Engineer in the format. There's not even Plague Engineer. Bogles. No, no humans. They're just gone. It's all gone. No Plague Engineer. It just shows, it just shows how hostile things like maybe Solitude are to these decks. Hollow One might be able to make a comeback with some of those uh, discard spells. Fury killed most of the tribal decks nowadays. I think you can play around Fury, though. In my opinion, you can play around Fury. I don't think Fury is even that. It's like sorcery speed removal. You can interact against it at instant speed. Um, you can play around it by making sure you have the appropriate creatures out. Maybe you have to dump Thalia, make more beefy creatures, but I don't... Like, even as a merfolk player, I'm not that afraid of Fury. Especially with Aether Vile on the battlefield. Although Aether Vile is more vulnerable because of Prismatic Ending. Okay, what else do we got? Uh, Infect. Not dead whatsoever. Very niche. They're going in the... They're sometimes going in the Sultai direction. It's not like Tier 1, but it's like a solid Tier 3 here. Kevin Sellers says, my my local game store must have missed the memo that humans was dead. There's like four humans players there. Oh, they're still living in 2019, are they? Still living in 2000, the glory, still living in 2018, 2019. What a time to be alive. I feel like Torp Orb has become the most powerful card in modern now. But even, th even then, like, Torp Orb lets people play things like Solitude and Fury for free. And they don't have any ETB, but they still get to keep it. Clark Clan Ironworks is just gone. Just gone. Just got Ascendancy. Well, you should have told my opponent that I just played last week about that. They didn't get the memo. To be fair, I do think this is a dead deck. I was, like, so surprised to see this out of nowhere. But, you know, some people want to try see if old decks are still good in today's modern metagame, but absolutely not. Just Guy Tempo. Stone dead. Or is there anything similar? Is there like a Just Guy deck? Just Guy, where are you? Just Just Guy, period, is dead. That Lightning Helix don't do it anymore. Actually, is Just Guy Ascendancy making a comeback? What the hell is this? What the hell is this? That Pablo guy is trying to put in work. This is the guy I played against. He got 3-1 in a preliminary. Mm, a there, there's a 5-0 in a modern league. There's very weak results. Very weak. And then there's some like paper results that I don't care about. This guy Ascendancy trying to make a comeback here. Okay, Jund, traditional. Yeah, so old Boomer Jund is dead. All hail Raghavan Jund. Simple as that. But it's still around. It just evolved. So this is a situation where, like, the deck evolved into a better deck. So, like, yeah, the version 1 died. Nightfall, that is super dead. It's not even clear to me <laughs> neither Reliquary even belonged in Modern very much. Yeah, so this is a super dead... What was it called? Nightfall. Yeah. That was a strange deck. It's basically just ban 
bent deck with a weird combo attached to it. Lantern Control, not dead. People are trying to make Lantern Control work. It's really niche and it's not working, but it's still around. People are trying really hard, especially since Urza Saga came out. Is there uh, even one list? Is there an even acknowledgement over Lantern Control? Maybe we cannot even see anything. Thopter Foundry has more presence than Lantern Control. Okay, I can't find anything. Okay, maybe we can just call this... Maybe this call this dead, but sometimes people try it. Merfolk with a question mark. I guess because people are obviously playing Merfolk. You, pl you always see it in the leagues. You're always going to see it in people's local game store. But I guess the point is like they don't think it should still be around. Well, I, as long as I have anything to do with it, it will always be around, so get it off this list. Get my archetype off this dead deck list list. I played against Lantern Control in two, di uh, in two different people last time I played Modern a couple months ago. It's misleading to put Evolved decks on this list. I know, I actually, I don't think it's appropriate. Or they should sectionalize this thing, like, decks that don't exist because of their card got banned. Some of these just decks just got weak. Mono green control. What the hell is that? That was never a deck. I mean, maybe they mean mono green tooth and nail? Maybe? Mono green devotion? I don't know. Mystic sanctuary control. Well, of course, mystic sanctuary got banned. That's not even a DAC, though. Like, Mystic Sanctuary Control was just control that, as we see it right now, but it had Mer Mystic Sanctuary in the deck. Like, it's no different. It's the same archetype. It's just blue-white control. It's literally just blue-white control. Let's go back to page one. Where is our blue-white control? Here, Azorius Control. It was literally this, but it had Mystic Sanctuary in it. There was no difference. So Mystic Sanctuary Control easily still plays today. It's still around. I'm assuming Mono Green Plow Under. I think they that, that was in a, the Tooth and Nail archetype because it produced a lot of mana. How Lantern Control works, by the way, they empty their hand, put Codex Shredder and Lantern onto the battlefield so they can see what you're going to draw, and then they'll constantly put your the good cards in the graveyard and then mill you out. Thought Sanctuary. It is banned. It is banned. But all the decks that played Sanctuary are still around. There is. No, I don't think there was a single deck that depended on Mystic Sanctuary. I don't think there was a single deck that depend. Like, Mystic Sanctuary got banned. Oh, the archetype's just dead now. It's just all gone. Nahiri Control. I don't even know if this is was ever really. I guess. Nahiri the Harbinger. I don't I wouldn't I don't even want to call this like really a control deck though. It was like a com it was basically a combo deck and then depending on how you wanted to build the shell around Nahiri, you could build it like a control deck. You could make it more of a com a combo based deck. Oh, I'm gonna side rail for a second. Uh MTG Gaming Bob said something interesting about youth youthful Valkyrie. Uh, what was that anyway? Like, okay, so it was like a seven dollar or sorry, it was an eight dollar uncommon because it actually wasn't printed in what did you say the set boosters? Hold on, maybe I go find your email. It was an interesting, enlightening email. I believe the current price of useful Valkyrie is so high is due to the fact that it is not part of the regular numbered Kaldheim set, it is a very special number. What that means is that you cannot get them in draft packs. They were available in set, theme, and collector boosters, ergo, uh, a bit more rare than typical uncommons. Additionally, the sudden surge is due to the popularity of Angels and Standard because of Gaida, Font of Hope, in uh, Streets of New Capenna. All right, so that's that's the deal. This is a very unusual uncommon that actually wasn't printed in draft boosters. Okay, so that was an interesting side rail. Because we were wondering the other day, why is this card so much money? What is going on here? Neoform! That car, that deck is still around. It's actually evolved to play with Thrasta, but it was, it's a very niche deck. 
It's a niche deck. It's just like, you know, you'll randomly run into it. Can't expect to run into it too often. Niv to Light. Sure. It's sort of, let's say, not popular. It's definitely not around. Bring to Light is still around, but Niv to Light, yeah, that's that sort of has been brushed away. Not a big deck anymore. Oko Food. Well, Oko's banned. Nahiri Control was a Jeskai. There was a there was a Jeskai Control version of Nahiri Control. So Oko, of course, Oko is banned. So the, yeah, the those decks are dead. Oops, all spells. That is very alive, isn't it? It's just a metagame combo deck. I swear that this thing is alive. I might be wrong. Belcher uh, takes up a spot in those combo, in that combo world. Is there no oops? Is there really no oops? Glimpse combo. They have every other combo here. Did I miss it? Even if it's not like here, I would strongly suspect that this is not really a dead deck. It's just a very meta dependent deck. It's the type of deck that, you know, it's like Dredge. Dredge could be stone dead, but then out of nowhere, it like just comes back out of nowhere. There's a Discord for Oops All Spells slash Belcher. Like, they're in the same sort of world, right? But I have to admit, I don't see I don't see Oops here. <laughs> we have Sahili Combo here, which actually was one of the decks they said were dead. Grinding Station. I don't see Oops, though, to be honest. I don't see Oops. But I don't think it's a dead deck, for sure. Uh, okay, Phoenix. Yeah, that's dead. It needs help. When someone figures out how to make Arclight Phoenix come back, it definitely will be back. Pyromancer. So, like, what are you talking about? Mardu Pyromancer? I think Mardu Pyromancer evolved to be these Rakdos decks. Is this it? I think this is, this is it. I think this is Pyromancer now. Like, um, instead of... Uh, the other Pyromancer, they're playing like Season Pyromancer is like it was a Faithless looting deck, so it's a fate. It was just playing Faithless looting. I real, I honestly think this is the evolution. This Rakdos mid range deck with Season Pyromancer is the evolution to those classic Mardu Pyromancer decks. Let's play Blood, yeah, main deck Blood Moon, same plan. You get them with the value, and then you Blood Moon them. Boom! You go Blood Moon them. You do. You just instead of playing uh, Lingering Souls though for value, you're now playing with. Oh, actually, this deck is not playing with uh, Croxa. I thought it was going to play with Croxa. So do we have anything for value? I guess the value now is like Malakir Rebirth with Fury and Grief. I think that's the evolution, though. Red Prison. Well, don't tell that to... Uh, what was it? Uh, a Fluffy Wolf? Don't tell that to him. He won't be happy. I think it's still kicking around. Very, very niche deck, though. It's like, this is, with the question mark, it's like in the same position as the Merfolk community. Same position as the Merfolk community. Restore Balance. Yeah, that's a pretty dead deck. Scred also stone. I don't even think Scred was ever a deck. I think that was like super niche. One guy played it. Some people tried it after they saw a good result for Scred in like a GP. It was never a real thing. Slivers. Are Slivers banned? They are my favorite after Eldrazi and vehicles. That makes me a sad boy. They're not banned. There actually are quite a good few. There's quite a, quite a few good Slivers out there. But um, I honestly don't want to ever say that Slivers was a real deck. So I don't. I don't. Even, I wouldn't even put it on this list. I wouldn't even say that was a deck that died. That's like, in theory, a Slivers deck could be created. There was like some. There were some people on, like, the SCG coverage, they played Slivers. I would never say that was a major archetype or something like I had to... I, I'd like, that's not an archetype I ever put on my sideboard guide, for example. Snow Midrange. 
I don't I think they are unpopular, but I think any I think any deck with Ice Fang Quaddle still um is still basically a snow mid-range deck. Is that here? Ice Fang Quaddle. Okay, so we still have it. These mid-range decks still exist. This is a snow this is a snow mid-range deck, right? Right? Okay, so that's just an outright lie. It's like there's no I mean snow mechanics still exist and still played in mid-range. Spirits. Spirit still exists, but not uh, not super popular in modern. But still around. Like, definitely still around. Still putting up results. Where's Spirits? We definitely can find it. They put up some modern challenge results over the last few months, so they have to be on here to some capacity. Where are you, Spirits? Where are you? I can't find you. It's a sad day for spirits, I guess, if I can't find them. They've been pushed out of the metagame by all these weird alternate decks. Kiki Cord, Slesnia, Food in fact. I can't find spirits up here. Okay, honestly, I can't find spirits, but I don't think it's a dead deck. I don't think it's dead at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't tell Dre. Dre being right over here. I'm about to cry in like 30 seconds, aren't I? I don't think it's dead at all. It's just, it's just that super low tier, hanging by a thread sort of deck in the metagame. Splinter Twin. Well, of course it's dead. It's got its card banned. <laughs> I wonder how on earth this deck ended up leaving the format. Soul Sisters, that's true. That's dead. That's stone dead. That's been a w that's been dead for a while. I think that is a that is a solid deck to have on this list. That is a deck that saw a lot of play. It actually, was put in the hands of a lot of pro tour players. Uh, it was it was it was a bit of a niche deck always around, but it was it was definitely around. Uh, but it's it's gone. Suicide Zoo, it just evolved into Death Shadow, really. That's why they call it death. That's why they called it renamed it Death Shadow Zoo. Ugh, I said this word. I'm gonna get demonetized, aren't I? That's why we don't we don't call it that. Okay, so uh, this, so like it was renamed Death Sha Death Shadow Zoo, and then eventually they just got rid of the zoo cards, and they just made a better Death Shadow deck. That's the way I look at it. Uh, taking turns. That was a very, very niche deck. I guess you could say that was dead. That was like a deck that was like very fringe, but saw play. You know, you ran into it once in a blue moon in the modern leagues. You really did. The Rock. How is this not around in some capacity? No, we have no Golgari deck right now. We have nothing. I mean, we might have nothing. Yeah, I guess we have nothing. It's just better to play Raghavan. It's hard to it's hard to justify not playing red right now for the um, unholy heat for the Dragon Rage Chandler for the Raghavan. Really, really hard not to just hard to justify not playing it. Through the breach, sure. I guess that's not really a deck that's played at all right now. It's probably not coming back. He <laughs> cries in Daniel Wong. Yeah. <laughs> I added Bedsheets Elemental and Cleric class to Soul Sisters and still play it. Tibble Cascade, well got banned. Tibble Trickery. Isn't this the same deck? This is this is the same archetype. Moving on. Tron. Green, black, green, red, green, white. Yeah, all all color variations of Tron are dead. But I think the only ones that are played now is Mono Blue, which is on this list, and uh, Mono Green Tron. But Mono Blue Tron definitely still exists. I still run into this deck very consistently. Like, definitely I've played against this deck, I don't know, at least five times in the last 365 days. Twiddle Storm, definitely still seeing play, 100%. Uh, I definitely play against this deck. Pre also, like, in the same vein as Mono Blue like Tron, it's... Not often, but you do run into it. Simple as that. 
Yeah, Twiddle Storm still exists, but not heavily played. Um, Uro mid range. Well, maybe it's because Uro is banned. So this is another example of a card. Too many Uros. Another example of a card that got banned. So of course the deck is gone. Lutron players are just stubborn people who refuse to give up the deck, although the deck sucks. The deck is not that bad. It's got its pilots. I have a lot of respect for Mono Blutron. I'd, I'd bid, build it differently, personally. I don't like it. I don't really, really like how they build their deck, but I understand where they're where, where they're getting, where, where like where they're coming from. Value Town. I have no idea what this is. I feel like I should know what this is. Is that like is that supposed to be the green white value deck? Value Town. I have no idea. Vanifar Pod. That was never really a deck. That was like an experiment that failed, and it's gone now. But that was never an archetype. We're Prison. That was a very real deck. And they lost Mox Opal. That was a beating. That was an absolute beating of a beating. Where's the dice factor on this list? I guess the cr the curator of this list, the creator creator of the list has uh, decided that we're prison. Sorry, uh, dice factory is still very much alive. Value Value Town is just basically the green white deck with value creatures. Okay. Uh, wizards. What the hell was Wizards? I don't know. I don't ever remember a wizard deck. I don't remember ever a wizard deck to any capacity. And then Zoo. Yeah, Zoo is gone. Aristocrats. I don't know if Aristocrats was ever a modern deck. Like, that's another deck. Like, what, what was Wizards? Was there ever a Wizards deck? Was there a Blue Wizard? I don't think there was ever a Blue Wizards deck. Such a thing did not exist. Please comment below any I have missed or if, that I've included that you feel are too similar to a current popular archetype. You, well, I've, that Tybalt's, Tybalt, Cascade, and Tybalt's Trickery are the same damn thing, in my opinion. Yeah, there is like a there is a ton of redundancy and not accurate. It's got a bunch of decks that people still definitely play. Wizards is like prowess. Oh, I remember right. And they played... Um, Storm Chaser. So, like, Storm Chaser Mage. This is a deck that, like, it was very popular for a burst period. It didn't, it did not stand the test of time. It just didn't stand the test of time. But it, it you know what? It was a wizard deck. I'll give it that. I'll give it that. There, it was a wizard deck. I think it played Delver, too. Wizards is currently seeing Pioneer play. That's nice, but it was like, okay, I I will give it that. You know, it was a deck, and it was it was a hot deck for like a short period of time, and it played like Vendillion Click, and I think uh, Spell Spell Stutter Sprite, because this is also a wizard. Because I remember Jeff Hoagland made like the top eight of some event, and like he made some deck guide on it. Yeah, Hoagland went 14-0 in a Swiss of a wiz uh, with Wizards at a GP. And then the and then it's gone. It just died. So, are fairies viable? If you ask me, it never was. <laughs> it never was. But I think fairies has I think fairies has enough tools. I think people got to leverage the pester my kiki jiki thing, and then like fairies could be a very real thing. What I wonder if hold on say edits removed scape shift twice oh my okay so this list actually used to be more embarrassing it had scape shift on it several times added burn traditional judge like these are not necessary though they just don't need to be on there removed elementals and cloud post cloud oh cloud post just was probably never a deck period uh, added Just Guy Ascendancy, which just started seeing play again. Added Zoo, changed Burn Traditional to Burn Zoo, added Cheerios. Why do they put the Murph? Get it out, get it off! It's stuck, take your hands off my fish. And why is Goblins on here? Was Goblins on here or did they remove it? Okay, they, they put it on and then they took it off. Is there like another added thing? 
Yeah, removed. So they added goblins and then they took off goblins. What an absolute shit show of a list this is. Blitz. Uh, yeah, you could say that. You could say the blue red blitz deck is gone, and just guy control is definitely. Why did they remove just just guy control is dead? They took just guy control off. Show me just guy control here. There's no there is no lightning helix control deck in the format. What a blunder! And look at that. Is it prowess actually is here? Oh, so they took it off. Yeah, remove blitz. Okay. I guess that's fair. I didn't even know this was still around. I honestly thought this deck... I haven't seen this deck in a very, very long time. They put it back on probably because of Jeskai Lotus Field Control. That doesn't count. Oh, maybe it does. You know, maybe... It, you know, I could I could let that count. I could let that slide. Does Lotus Field... Con okay, is, is there a Jeskai Lotus Field Control deck here? Oh, it is. Okay, do you know what? I could get behind that. Ugh, but, th th like, this Jeskai control deck is a really... But this isn't... This isn't Lotus Field. This is also not even Jeskai control. This is literally Blue Eye control with Fire and Ice. Which is a v very, 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 like, loose... Like, what's their red mana? Just one Triome? That's... Li oh, and a Steam Vents. That's a very weak Jeskai control deck very loose okay what other adjustments putting a question mark besides archetypes that pe that people have made cases for both their inclusion and exclusion if anyone says well isn't this like a, a list of decks people don't play anymore if the people are playing the deck then people are just playing the deck it's still around it's still kicking you still see it at the gps and stuff Chonky Stompy is not on the list. That means Chonky Stompy is still around. It's alive. Scapeship. Those are fighting words. I'm ripping my hair out over here. Well, they took it off. It probably was originally on the list, though. I saw one guy play Just Guy Control at my local game store, so it's clearly a meta deck. I don't even know what like Lightning Helix would even kill anymore today. Point this at your Omnath they just don't know is they just piss the Omnath off. Saw one guy play... Oh no, I got that. I don't know why Auntie's Hovel still costs as much as it does. Goblins is hardly played. It's still it's still played though. Still played. Why didn't Riptide Laboratory never gotten any play? Riptide... Oh, um... I think it's just hard to you play this card. You have to play in like a Vile deck and at the same time that it became legal, so did Prismatic Ending. Return target wizard. You could, it's it's just really clunky. Like these days, by the time you get the synergy online, you're dead. Can't wait to fill, pull fire and ice. LOL cards in my two hundred fifty dollar collector packs for double masters twenty twenty two. Rip dad laboratory is in my is my secret attacking control. There was a question earlier that I said I would wait till much later. What was that question? Uh, do I have to go far? Sorry for... I just didn't want to change the topic because we had a hot topic. We had a lot of people show up today for this topic. Anyway, I don't remember. Oh, Ledger Shredder. Thanks. Yeah, Ledger Shredder. Okay, we'll see if Ledger Shredder becomes the real deal. So far, it's off to a pretty good start. People like it. It's like a pretty strong card. Whenever a player... It's a 2 mana for 1-3, which is pretty good. Flying. Whenever a player casts their second spell each turn, Ledger Shredder connives, which means you draw a card, then discard a card. If you discarded a non-land card, uh, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on this creature. So you can... It's like a relatively good win condition. It filters out the trash in your hand. And um, you can very easily activate this. It's not hard at all very very easy I mean turn three play this play a bolt or something bolt or opt not opt but they play consider now it looks pretty good and it like on turn like if you pull this off turn three and you make it a two four 
That's already out of bolt range and blocks a lot of stuff. Yeah, also triggers on your opponent casting their second spell. That's true. That's very, very important. That's really, that's a really big deal. And it's already climbing in, in uh, money. I remember you playing against Ledger Shredder. Yeah, and I smoked them. Because I think the overall the deck, well, was not prepared for me. I think it's overrated. Suppose uh, it's kind of like five to eight copies of Dragon Rage, uh, Dragon Rage Chandler. Yeah, you could look at it like that. But this thing scales larger than Dragon Rage Ch Chandler. I saw Spiring Spike replace Ragavan for this and went pretty good with it. Shredder is annoying and it's evasive. It's evasive. Flies in the air. What are we doing here? Let's look up. Look at Snuff Out. It's like, what is this? A common? It's $25? What the hell? Uh... Oh, the market's hot on Ledger Shredder. The market is hot on Ledger Shredder. A better Delver? Everything is a better Delver. Delver at this point is just a bad card. It's just a bad card. Delver is on the brink of playability on in Legacy. And just at the moment they print a better red or blue card, it's gone. And it will always be like that for eternity. Tried putting together Is It Prowess and Modern didn't go too didn't go far. Snuff out sees a lot of play in Popper. Well, pff, how much play? That's a lot of play. And sees play in Legacy, apparently. But who plays that in paper? Who plays that in paper? That is it for Coffee and MTG today. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, we do this Monday to Friday, 8 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time. Be there or be square. If you love the channel, you want to support it, you can do it with Super Chats. Or you can hit the Join button on YouTube. It's like subbing on Patreon or Twitch. Uh, so thank you very much for joining me this morning. It was a very interesting article. Got a lot of feedback from all of you. Very interesting read. So keep brewing up those coffees. Keep playing those Tier 3 decks. And I will see you at the next cut.